Hey there, folks. Today, we're diving into the ever-shifting world of West African geopolitics, where recent events have stirred up quite a storm. Diplomatic ties, economic stability, and even academic collaborations are on the line. You won't believe the twists and turns in this story. The West African regional bloc, ECOWAS, slapped sanctions on Niger, and boy, did that trigger a ripple effect, hitting Benin's economy hard. Join us in this video as we untangle the complexities surrounding these sanctions, peek into the diplomatic dance between Benin and Niger, and scratch our heads over Nigeria's decision to suspend university certificates from Benin and Togo. Buckle up, because as the wheels of diplomacy turn and West African nations grapple with sanctions, suspensions, and strategic alliances, we're about to uncover the real impact on the region's stability and economic growth. Join me on a roller coaster ride as we make sense of recent events and try to predict what's coming next. But before we jump into the juicy details, do us a favor, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and don't forget to flick on the post notifications. You'll be the first to know when we drop another bombshell of a video. Let's kick things off with the big headline, ECOWAS sanctions on Niger. It's not just Niger feeling the heat, Benin's got a front row seat to this drama. President Patrice Talon's shouting from the rooftops, calling for relations between Benin, Niger, and Burkina Faso to be patched up ASAP. Why? Well, it turns out Benin's economy took a hit when the border with Niger got slammed shut. 80% of goods passing through the port of Cotonou were heading to Niger, and now, Benin's counting the cost. But wait, there's a twist. To ease the economic pain, Benin's opened the gates again, allowing imported goods destined for Niger to roll through the port of Cotonou. Smart move, right? Especially considering the shared interest in a massive oil pipeline that's about to make Niger an international oil player, selling crude through the Benin port of Seme. Hold on to your hats because Togo's stepping into the spotlight too. General Abdur Rahman Tiani from Niger's military paid a visit to Togo for some chit-chat with President Nassan Bey. They're cooking up plans for a Togo embassy in Niger and discussing a transit and transport corridor involving Togo, Burkina Faso, and Niger. These guys are serious about boosting regional infrastructure and connectivity. But seriously, kindly subscribe and turn on your post notification. Just when you thought things couldn't get more complicated, Nigeria drops a bomb, a blanket suspension on all university certificates from Benin and Togo. Why? Good question. Some say it's because of alleged degree racketeering in Benin, but critics smell something fishy. The timing, coinciding with Benin lifting ECOWAS sanctions and Togo cozying up to Niger, raises eyebrows. Is this about degrees, or is there a broader geopolitical game in play? Sure this a diplomatic chessboard in West Africa with nations making strategic moves and countermoves. The stakes are high for regional stability and economic cooperation. And just when you think you've got it figured out, Nigeria throws a curveball with the suspension of university certificates. What's their endgame? My friends, amidst this diplomatic roller coaster, what's the future for regional stability and collaboration in West Africa? Are these nations going to find common ground, or are we headed for deeper divides? And, let's not forget, how will this impact the folks on the ground, their economic prosperity and academic pursuits? Your guess is as good as mine. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a yes in the comments if you want more on this intriguing topic. Stay tuned for the next episode.